So, as you can see here, I'm keeping everything on my desk so that everything is in front of my eyes so that I can approach each and every book and copy I need and I want and especially my laptop because it's really important to have laptop on my desk and the old and the new diaries slash registers slash copies anything you like take on your notes and your uh, revisions and here I'm just zooming in so that I can show you my pin board on Pinterest that is learn Hangul which is really important for now like they have a lot of specific categories words and verbs and pronouns and other language thingy but today I chose this poem which is I'm going to write which I am going to write on this diary right here which is really important to practice daily writing even if you can't really master the uh, speaking technique I would say but uh, writing is must because the first thing we always learn is the vowels and the consonants and uh, all in all alphabets so it's really easy to like memorize what is where and uh, how it is made so here I'm just going to copy the whole poem in English and then uh, in Korean but for my experience I would say never write the Korean pronunciation in English because it will make you a habit like it will develop inside you that you no know, you have that habit that you write especially when you or you like can speak especially when you read the English uh, form of Korean writing or like reading uh, sorry not writing so here I'm just writing the English uh, poem first uh, the English ka transitions transition translations uh, and then I'm just going to write the same poem in Korean and uh, I have been learning Korean since like 2020 uh june i would say and uh, i cannot really say that i am fully trained fully learned korean speaker a korean language learner because there's so many things i need to learn i haven't mastered the level one korean skills and i took a lot of breaks in between so i'm still 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 a very very much big now but I can say I can read a little bit and I can recognize the words like in Korean and like the alphabet thing. And yeah, I can write pretty much like nicely here. I'm just uh, not pretty much <laughs> writing it beautifully, but uh, trust me, trust me, trust the process. Uh, and I just want to say that practicing makes the man perfect and we've been hearing this from a childhood so i think we need to practice each and every single day so that we can just uh, improve our skills in any field we want to so i'm just finishing it up real quick real quick because uh, i don't want this video to be long but here i'm just want to like let you guys know about the reality of learning new language because I think till the moment you are learning on your own there are so many things messed up around you you cannot uh, differentiate between the things you need to learn and not right now and it's I think it's important to have like classes to attend classes no matter how many YouTube videos you see on YouTube it's not it's not the way you think it is 
So here I'm done with my writing and you can see it's not focusing. And here is my old diary that I have wrote. Uh, like I have done a lot of lot of uh, my homework in this. I you really need to characterize things in like there's like body parts, like people, and then this this senses, keep off phrases, words in Korean, disasters, the body. You need really tourism. You really need to characterize things and learn that way. It will be really easy. And this is the bookmark i'm showing from the very beginning i started and this is how i used to write it like you can see it's a mess this is a first ever notes i really took from christine's fun fun korean classes on youtube it's like 12 years old videos and they have like 10 total videos and this is when i started learning after a break like three months four months break i started again and this is the afterwards writing and here also you can see I have done pretty much everything to concentrate but uh, somewhere I was lagging behind you can see that but I have done a lot of homework I have done a lot of homework on Korean and then I started doing that I wrote the first of my notes uh, again neatly so these are the neat notes of my first ever Korean uh, language learning videos and uh, then there's more honofix and like more from pinterest and then i made some flashcards because uh, it's really easy like kabang which is bar shima which, which is curled no i remember okay and flashcards are really and these are the, the diaries i made it's like months and years name and they are really easy to carry around if you're like yeah they are really small this is fit in your pockets really nicely all the nouns and pronouns which is really easy to learn like this uh, flashcards makes a lot of things easier i really wanted to make flashcards because i was so like lazy so i made <laughs> these diaries so that it's easier for me and this is the cover of my copy which is yeah and then here are the you can just pause and see the websites and the books and everything and it's gone so the next thing i made this new diary and there's the board then the first ever i uh, learned from billy go korean and he's really amazing you should watch the learn korean in 90 minutes uh, the video contains uh, i think 10 videos or 12 videos and he has explained so many things in that uh, it's really helpful you should watch it if you are a beginner it will really help you and the second one obviously is talk to me in korean they help me a lot and when you reach a point where you can understand a little bit point out things like i did in colored pens very very important to uh, have colored pens which makes learning so easy even if and this uh, book i bought Sorry, I'm cutting myself off again. And uh, a sheet mask which is from Korean brand and I kept it because I really want to practice my reading. And this book, I won't recommend you to buy this book because I made a mistake myself. So, don't do it. And this is the writers. and But this book is good. So, next, uh, YouTube videos, very important. Uh, if you have time, 10 to 20 minutes, please watch like 5 to 10 minutes video like which is really important like you can watch from korean only you can watch from talk to me in korean you can watch from Billigo korean there's so many youtube uh, videos obviously but these are like top three ones which i really 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 recommend uh, because everyone recommends that uh, these three top like channels right here i'm watching talk to me in korean because i'm showing you guys and uh, maybe i'm going to watch another video maybe i'm going to watch from korean only so let's see which one i choose so there's so so many videos that's why i was saying earlier in the video that it becomes really 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 difficult to understand what to do next like what uh, how i'm supposed to do something next when I need to form sentences, what I'm going to do. So I think it is important to take classes. You have to spend a little money from your pocket, but I think it's worth the money. 
because we learn something really new and really special um, uh, in like a uh, case of language learning here's the another website i'm opening obviously i put all the website what you say uh, the names on the screen so it, it will be really easy for you to access all those and these are all the websites uh, i always keep on my home page because it's easy to just click on it and then access it and they are really really helpful and this is i am watching korinoni because she was uh, telling us uh, cheer up how to cheer up others like the phrases and it was really amazing she told like three to four phrases and it was really really uh, nice to uh, listen and to learn and obviously all the kerama and kpop fans know this world so much kinchana it's okay and uh, i have learned this i know this and i can even write this so so you can do that too i'm just taking the notes she is telling me to and uh, it's really really easy and important to do that on daily basis and uh, all the three to four main channels i would recommend are so so helpful and so like i'm so grateful that they do it for free obviously they have their own subscription part there as well but uh, talking about that is a different thing that i was telling that we have to have to take classes because after learning for a while you get stuck in between you just stay at that one stair and you cannot decide whether you have to climb up or climb down or if you don't uh, step back or climb down no not a world uh, step back or climb up but i would say climb up and uh, spend some money on uh, like a subscriptions or uh, maybe pro subscription obviously pro subscriptions uh they are not that uh, cheap also but they are not that expensive obviously upon your budget but if you really want to stick to the free sources and just want to like drag yourself in them explore each and everything i would say go for it because i am doing that same. and but maybe in future i am deciding to have a subscription or take classes because i think i really want to learn a new language and uh, i really want to speak to a native speaker with my language skills new language skills so i will take but if you are that person who really want to you know explore each and everything from the internet and uh, like serve every website you can do that obviously you are obviously open to do that i'm not saying that but uh, obviously i'm not that experienced person because 2022 uh, 2020 <laughs> sorry 2020 uh, i started and i took a lot of breaks so i won't say it's been 2 years but i would say it's uh, pretty much one year in one year like Three months, four months, because I took a lot of breaks, like in between three months, two months, one month, because of my boards and all stuff exams. So I took a lot of breaks in between, but I finally got back on track. But still, I'm like uh, dangling here and there. <laughs> so I'm really, really keeping that in my mind to really focus on my other activities as well and on my new language learning as well. so uh, like uh, in a bit i'll show you the apps i use which are there are a lot of apps yeah i can say that there's a lot of apps but two apps three apps that are really really easy to access and are really understanding understandable and uh, if you're a new learner you can get through it and you see it in a bit So here's my phone. I made this folder K Education. The first one is a Korean keyboard, which is really easy uh, to download, and you can just change it from uh, the keyboard you already use. And there's an icon in, and then there is the notes, uh, Korean notes. It's just like a flashcards, 
it's like a flash cards and i haven't used it in a while so i had to <laughs> go through the second settings but they have a lot of lot of uh, flash cards on the board and they are really really easy to access and the third one is lingotio which is i think is korean app only like the korean can make this so it is really easy So I hope you enjoyed the video do like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, I know it's not the perfect and the perfect and the most amazing video on the internet on YouTube but uh, telling you the truth is more important than making it more amazing and more flashy so I just uh, pin down my points on the video and I hope hope you understand it and thank you so much for watching